Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lord Schmup. This is going to be a first look at Crisis Wing on Nintendo Switch by Pie Slice Productions and East Asia, Asia, East Asia Soft Limited. I checked the, the options. It seems to be a Tate mode available. There's Boss Rush, Time Attack, Practice, two player game, and one player. In addition to having a two player game, there's an option to turn off pooling lives for both players, which is kind of cool. It's been a while since I've made a video, but my computer area is set up now, and it's now possible. So I'm hoping to be making more of these vids. Oh, right into it. Okay. Alright. As always, waste the bomb first. What is that guy? Okay. And we're missing collectibles. Oh. Any other buttons we got? Nope. We have bomb and shot. It looks like these asteroids are gonna hit me. That big old skull. I know that skull from another East Asia Soft game. I don't know the game. Can't name it off the top of my head, but it seems to be a reused piece of art. Like on the tune skis here. As with all games, I kind of wish there was like a hey, these are the buttons before you hop into the pilot seat, but that's alright. It's cool that the. Triple A. Can you? Sure. <laughs> alright, let's be on our guard a little bit more this time. Using my. Arcade stick as always. Controls feel good. Not noticing any sort of issues or input lag. Oh damn. The eager beaver always gets shot. Isn't that the same? I bought this on sale, so I'm not sure of the the current or non-sale price. But so far, so good. I'm digging it. So we got three bombs. Let's use them. Oh. Okay, so note to self bombs do not clear screen, they simply project forward. I like spread shot. Long been a favorite of mine. Can't wait to see what the boss looks like. This seems like a decent uh, entry level shmup, you know? Get some people into the genre. Buy a game that's like, what, eight bucks or less? See if you like it or not. We make an investment to like S grade for like 50 bucks. Here we go. I like the music change. Shot types are looking pretty familiar. That looks cool. Okay. We're changing the game a bit. I like that. No health bar, but he seems to be flashing a little bit, so... Classic indication of things heating up. There we go. That was cool. I like that. <laughs> I tell you what uh, is it the most impressive portion of this game is East Asia Soft had been putting out a ton of these like bite-sized shmups, and I'll speak for myself and not on behalf of the shmup community, but like 
they came out the gate strong with Ghostblade HD, and that kind of set expectations a bit high. So we thought, oh, dang, like, if this is what they're gonna come... Oh, shoot. Come out with, like, what's gonna be next? And they released, like, a handful or more bite-sized shmups that weren't my favorite. This seems to be a step ahead of those bite-sized type shmups. Which is cool. It's, it's definitely no Ghostblade HD, but... I do like this better than the other bite-sized shmups I've played from uh, that publishing company. East Asia Soft is dope, though. I appreciate the work that they do, and they've been very kind to me. So a big shout out to East Asia Soft. I really hope uh, you guys get to snag a ton more shmups in the near future and that your team is doing well. Oh, we got four bombs. Let me get that power up going. Yeah, see, once you get used to gameplay and how it feels to move around, just on a you know second life, no more continues. But we got four bombs, so we should keep that in mind. Let's pow. Well, I'll keep forgetting that does not clear shots. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna be in trouble now. Boss time? Nope. Oh, was that a score or did we just get another bomb? I don't know. I think it was just a score boost. Oh, triple A, <laughs> they got us. Uh, let's do one more. Continue. We're only seven minutes in. Oh, you have to get this. I'll take that. Pium pium. Saw that coming. Can't move too incrementally. I can move like that's the smallest I can move. So just a bit twitchy, but that's cool. That's fine. I like the ship. And I like that design. You can change the color of your ship on the main menu in the options screen for some reason. Then if you have the flip grip or that, um, I'm not sure where mine is, it's uh, this holster for the pro controller you can clip that into and play Tate mode. This game will work well for that. With some double boss action. Get one of these out of the way. Oh. Well, this one's okay. They're both flashing, so just keep on one. Boom. Goodbye. Bye, sir. Oh, look at that. Barely made it through. He's gonna keep peppering me to the end now. Luckily, the end is nigh. The end is freaking nigh. Pretty sure my buddy Dace already made a video on this. I'll have to watch his after. 
kind of have that uh, the back and forth thing where it's just like if we're both playing a new shmup, we're not going to watch each other's video until we play it, so. Now I can watch his. Pow. Yeah, with what, three lives? This would be a cool game to try to master in 1cc. For those 1cc shmuppers. Ooh, dang. Got me. <laughs> Alright, well that's been three lives. It's my first look at Crisis Wing on Nintendo Switch. Uh, what'd you think of this game? I think it's alright. I think it's pretty cool. Um, approachable shmup, especially for beginners. That's something I'd see myself like sinking a, a ton of time into, uh, but this would be a fun one to, you know, if someone uh, comes over and wants to use the arcade stick, pop this game on, easy and simple, just hit start and go. Um, I'll leave a link to the eShop uh, page for Crisis Wing and a link to my buddy Dace's video uh, with him checking this out. So thank you everybody for watching. It's nice to be back, and I will see you next time. Shmup on.